I work on a variety of different substantive topics. International trade early in my career, then more security-oriented topics such as ethnic conflict and war between states. The theme uh, and thread that ties them all together is a focus on global governance or how authority is formed and organized and distributed within the international system. His analysis of international relations, I think, allows you to think through more clearly what are the roles of anarchy, structure, and hierarchy in thinking about how, how countries interact with each other. They help you understand whether countries sign treaties and whether they obey them and agree with it, whether a treaty is likely to work or not likely to work. And so they're very useful for theorists but they're also very uh, important for policymakers, I think, who can then think through better what the choices are. The conventional view on uh, international politics is that the international system is anarchic or devoid of authority and best characterized as a Habesian state of nature in which there are no laws and uh, founded on principles of of might make right. And there are important consequences of this for American foreign policy, how we think about our role relative to other countries and how we try and influence those countries. My view challenges this conventional wisdom and tries to develop the argument that relations between countries and between other forms of authority are actually based upon rules and the creation of an international order. This leads us to think about world politics in very different ways, a much more optimistic view, I think, in which rules govern behavior, countries come together either individually or in groups to try and set those rules uh, in ways that can improve uh, um, the prospects for cooperation and peace over the long run. He's both uh, you know, big and focused and that's very hard. You know, Many people have big broad ideas but then they don't focus on the careful parts of it and then he can dig deep uh, at the same time. So I've always had a strong personal commitment to ways of improving international order, uh, reducing the risk of war, um, enhancing the prospects for cooperation and peace, uh, both at the individual level and between states. The particular book uh, on hierarchy and international relations was really catalyzed by the Iraq War of 2003 when, as interpreting the events in the run-up to the war, I saw the United States as abusing its authority over other countries in ways that I thought would be quite consequential. Uh, and I think many of those fears were unfortunately borne out in the course of the war. So in that book, uh, what I tried to do was sort of pull together the ideas um, develop about authority and how the United States can best conduct its relations with other countries the book arrived at a very important time in the study of international politics, where there were a lot of people that were disaffected and concerned about the conventional view that it wasn't capturing important things about relations after the end of the Cold War. And so as more people began to question this conventional view, the hierarchy book has come together to sort of try and pull some of those sources of dissatisfaction uh, together and fortunately for me, has had the kind of impact that I hoped that it would is help, helping us think about international politics differently than we had prior to that. He's so dedicated and committed. You know, I think that you like working with people who uh, are able to share their engagement and commitment that are very trustworthy and reliable. I think that he has an interesting character of mind that is stimulating and fun to work with, and he also has tremendous human integrity. I find him one of the most uh, stimulating as well as uh, trustworthy intellectual collaborators that I have.